All right, so I thought I'd take you down in the middle of the, well, this is probably almost the middle of the property. Like I said, this is what we used to call this the beaver dam, because here where I'm standing, you can't see it right now because the snow's on it. But my nephew, we had a road here originally, but it had sunk over the years, and the water was coming over it. And of course, we have culverts along here. You can't see them right now. Everything's frozen down because everything that's right there, that's all water. Um, as you can see, I'm guessing deer got across it right now. Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't swim so good, guys, and I don't care to fall in some, you know, if it's not frozen. Uh, I'm not a nice fisher, guys. I don't know much about it, so I'm not walking out there. But at, when we were younger as kids, we used to clear this off with the four-wheelers and stuff, and we'd go skating on it. we put, you know, play hockey and stuff on it. As you can see, the road, there's a car that just went by. There's a road that goes out there. The property goes right on out, so... But uh, yeah, and we used to clear it off and we used to make it into a skating rink or like a hockey rink kind of thing, you know. Us kids, we, that's what we enjoyed, you know, that's what we could do. And then, you know, we used to drive the tractor because the ice would actually literally get frozen so thick you could drive the tractor on it or the half tons we'd drive them on because we'd, we'd kill all the, like all the dead wood that was along the edge. We'd trim it all out and stuff. And the only way, to, a lot of it, you can't get to it because with all the trees and stuff and you don't want to like literally kill live trees if you don't have to so we'd go along the edges and we take all the dead stuff out and cut the wood down and stuff inside and then we just bring it out with the tractors and stuff as kids well we weren't real kids kids but i mean you know in our you know at least 10 to 12 and 15 you know what i mean so but yeah just to give you a little insight of what you know how growing up we had a lot of fun you know um, my mom would even go skate with and stuff she put her skates on and stuff stuff like that i remember and you know it'll always be with me you know so but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a family piece of property that's been um, been with me since I was, you know, I've lived here all my life. So I have a lot of really good memories, you know, growing up. A lot of nephews and nieces coming and stuff and uh, us hanging out and stuff. But yeah, so this property goes right on and we're trying to build a road the rest of the way. But there's another section about, oh, I don't know, uh, probably a car lengths of, I don't know, would say uh, that way about, I'd say maybe four tractor tractor trailer lengths from here to the next spot where the water floods so we're trying to build it with big rocks and stuff but we're trying to drain it so we actually do it right uh we're not damaging anything and then trying to get rid of the beavers and stuff um but we haven't seen beavers in here in a while so but yeah this was a beautiful skate rink uh, i don't really have time for it now and i haven't been on ice skates in a long time guys i still got my hockey skates but uh, i really don't skate much now so but I mean, it's not like I don't got the cushion too in case I fall in my blood. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to share all that with you guys. And I wanted to show you guys. I mean, we have a beautiful piece in here. It's peaceful, quiet. I mean, there's not much traffic and stuff. And this is where my family, we come. They hunt, you know, for deer and stuff. So we have bears back here too uh, right now. My sister, she feeds uh, the turkeys. We have turkeys in here too. There's turkeys, there's deer, there's bear. Um, and then probably some other animals like fox, rabbits, squirrels, you know, all that stuff. I mean, we could easily live on the wild. I mean, if you don't mind eating wild meat and stuff, but I just want to share it with you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.